Okay, so now we're working on the engine alignment here, trying to figure out what angle that engine has to be mounted in there to have the correct shaft angle from the flywheel there in through the housing to the pump that bolts on. So since we know that my pump bolts flat to the intake, we have a point of reference that's correct. So I'm gonna choose to use the pump bolted into its known correct location. I'll use that to figure out what the shaft angle is rather than this engine that's floating in any place it wants to right now. We don't know where that engine's gotta go quite yet. So I'm gonna use the pump. So I basically I found a dowel that is the right size to fit this shaft fits smoothly right in there what it does is it gives you a really good look at how high up or down your pump points as well as if you step inside the boat here it shows you the left to right when you're going to set your pump angle it gives you a nice uh, clear look and the longer you make that pole stick out the clearer it's going to show you if it's pointed one way or the other and this is actually the preferred method that you're going to want to use to figure out what your pump angle is you want to use at least a four foot if not a six or eight foot so it really sticks out and you can just literally eye this up better than you'd be able to do with measuring tools so here's a look at the finished and shimmed pump angle. It's pretty dead flat. If anything, it's slightly, slightly pointed upward, but pretty dead flat to the eye. And I had to do some grinding on the the flange to make it come to the to the left just a little bit. And now I have it dead straight to the center line by eye. So now we're ready to use the dowel method to locate the area where we have to drill through the intake housing to set the shaft and put the motor in. And to reiterate what I was just saying, the pump will bolt into its spot here and I'll be able to slide that dowel in through the pump into the intake housing and it's going to make contact or rough contact somewhere to show me where the proper shaft angle is going to have to come through and so here's start. what i've come up with for the the dowel that literally took me about one minute i just quickly sanded it down that it would fit into the shaft precisely it was a little too large to start with which is what you want so there's a shot at this dowel meeting the housing I'm gonna push it in so you can hear it touch it I cut it at the same angle as the housing and on the first try it actually fits like a glove in there and there's a uh, no movement in this whatsoever it's basically just the same as uh, the metal shaft would be so to mark this dowel where it touches the inside of the housing where the shaft is going to come through. I'm going to, I loaded that up with uh, white out paint. You can see all around the edges. So I got to be quick here and get this on there to make that mark on the inside of the housing so I can start to drill my hole. So we got the pump ready here and I'm just going to press this dial in until it makes contact and leaves a paint mark. Get that paint smushed on there real good. All right, here we have the dry fitment of the engine shimmed up. A 
Just a piece of wood back there for now. These are the pieces that I'm using to make my final decision. I'm gonna be cutting the rubber off this mount. That's pretty good. It'll give me All right, here we have the dry fitment of the engine shimmed up. Just a piece of wood back there for now. These are the pieces that I'm using to make my final decision. I'm going to be cutting the rubber off this mount. And then here's the mounts I'll be welding up for the permanent front mounts. It's a quarter inch material. I think three of them stacked together. Shaft slides in and out of the crankshaft yoke, indicating that there's no binding with the engine angle. So, but I just had to get it in here to check it all. 